Oh man, have I got a video for you. Short one, okay. I finally got configured uh, station two here uh, at, with station one. Now we had a few comments last time we did this that um, you'll need bandpass filters. So now years ago when M0XXT was a quite a big station, James and I invested a lot of time and effort in filtering. And these are the filters. Now we had them on automatic last time we had these. They're currently manual because I don't know how to get the BCD information, you know, the band data out of here automatically. If you know how to do that on a Kenwood, I mean, I'm sure I can do a Google search. I literally just haven't got around to doing it. So we've got that. The tower is up. We've got the Yagi on it. So that's just sitting, waiting for US to come alive on 315. Uh, we've got, I put CCTV up as well, uh, which is just a good laugh, really. So let me tell you what a bandpass filter is. If you're running high power on 40 meters and your friend's on 20, you'll interfere with them because there is always a second harmonic. A bandpass filter, literally, it's like a notch filter in reverse. It lets through 40 meters and nothing else. In fact, to the point, I just did a test a minute ago. I was on 28,500 here. And on station one, I was on exactly half that, 14.250 on this station here. I did about uh, 800 watts, because that's what this amplifier will do. And uh, yeah, it was about an S9 signal on on that radio, but 10 kilohertz, you know, one channel away, and it absolutely nothing, perfect. So what station I'll start? I'll start with station two, very briefly. Now, Jonathan is bringing up his big icon tomorrow. So I've, I've put that vertical, let me turn the volume down. I've left some space for him here. We've got the TS590 and we've got the amplifier. So it's a Tokyo high power that. I did a whistle at 100 watts and I was getting 800 watts out of it. It's a 12 volt amplifier. So to run all that, we actually just have a ton of batteries. So this is a complete 12 volt system. I can run the laptop as well in the corner here off 12 volts. I can't at the moment run the big monitor. At the moment, if you're on, let's say 14, 274, you would physically have to go to 20 meters and you would have to select the battery. It's not like a complete automated station like we got in the corner, you know, with the 990. Even so, the bandpass filters aren't uh, automatic. <laughs> and then in the corner, and I've actually got it working. Um, I've got the uh, President McKindley. And in fact, if we fire up the Antenna Genius, there we are. So I'm on the, uh, what they call the Dominator. So that's uh, 15. 10 and 12 so actually that should work uh, i don't know how it works no uh, i might i'm i'm I, oh band pass filters on oh wait a minute another problem we've got a switch here there we go so we, we got we, we we got cb I worked out why this wasn't working is because I had the wrong button switched somewhere. What'll be on? Upper sideband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, the old days, eh? So that's a complete system, and then we're running N1MM in the big monitor, and that's networked to the other station. We can see if you tune in on the live stream which we'll be doing over the weekend. You'll be able to see what frequency Jonathan's on, what frequency I'm on. We can try and simultaneously have two streams at once. So you'll be able to have, you'll be able to look into station two and talk to Jonathan and you'll be able to flick to station one on a separate stream. Then on the TV here, just for show, we've got the Geochron running. I mean, uh, it's just nice, isn't it? Okay. I'm sure you've seen my scaffold poles before, all my lighting and everything. It's just good fun. That dish doesn't do anything, but it will eventually, well, it was going to go on the tower, but it can't anymore because the whole tower rotates. <laughs> That's going to face my house somehow, and we can get back up internet from there. This is the rem remnants of all the stuff that I've put in boxes that I haven't got any space for. So I don't know about you, it doesn't matter how much space you have, you just fill it up, don't you? I'm not going to do audio and things like that and how it all works. Um, we got a big audio system in here because I'm, yeah, I, I know we got the drums. All right. Not today. This is a ham radio channel. 
do you know, I have a lot of outtakes and a lot of stuff that I just think, you know, I am DX Commander. I can't put that on my on my channel. So I don't put it on. But I'm thinking of having a channel, I don't know, Uncle Callum's Outtakes or something, where I can just post all that baloney and drums and the band and whatever. I'm not, I don't want, I just, so I can save those clips. If you're interested in like a second channel, no post-production, it'll be pretty raw, you know, oh, it's a good laugh, it's what we did today. We've got tower cam as well. If we go, say, clockwise, three, two, one. And there we are, we're off. Now, unfortunately, I re what I really wanted was to show the horizon. But unfortunately, I haven't. I'm not going to show you the tower from down below because that's on another video coming out shortly. All right, which was a blooming nightmare to put a Yagi at 45 feet, uh, 14 metres up in the sky. Anyway, I'm just more than pleased about the bandpass filters, right? Because it means I could be running on, you know, 7.125, and he could be on 14.250 and, or, well, within 10 kilohertz of it, and I won't be interfering with him. So um, hook in over the weekend. We'll be having a lot of fun. We're having our own kind of CQ worldwide. If you're in the US, Jonathan's very keen to run six, 700 watts on that Yagi to the US, pointing at 315 for us, 300-ish, and we'll have some fun. All right, well, enjoy your radio. I certainly have been. I haven't had a day off now for about three or four weeks. Well, I have had a couple of days off, all right? <laughs> I have been flat out doing the field, doing all the tech, and having a ball. All right, so that's what Ham Radio's about. Have a jolly good day. I will see you soon. Bye for now.